वेलकम बैक फ्रेंड्स वी विल सी नाउ द सब्जेक्ट मैन्युफैक्चरिंग प्रोसेस इन विच वी सी द सब टॉपिक कास्टिंग प्रोसेसेस इन दिस स्टेप्स इन कास्टिंग प्रोसेस मेल्टिंग द मेटल सेकंड वन इज पोरिंग इट इनटू ए प्रीवियसली मेड मोल्ड व्हिच विल गिव द शेप फॉर द पार्ट allowing the molten metal to cool and solidify in the mold removing the solidified solidified component from the mold cleaning it and subjecting it to further treatment the solidified piece of metal which is taken out of the mold is called casting a plant where the casting are made is called foundry it is a collection of necessary tools materials and equipment to produce casting foundry is a latin word fundir melting and pouring the figure shows the casting process in which the cast part are shown and the process of casting is shown in the figure classification next is classification of casting process casting process are classified into two main processes expandable mold casting expandable mold casting non expandable permanent or permanent mold casting in which we see die casting centrifugal casting continuous casting in expandable mold casting the parts are permanent pattern sand casting expandable pattern investment casting and in non expandable casting we will see semi permanent core sand core casting and permanent core metal core casting sand mold casting this process accounts 80% of the total output of the cast products single mold single cast molds completely destroyed for taking out for taking out the casting knock out molding material sand to improve the cohesive strength of moldability so small amount of binder additives and water is added to make mold the molding material will have to be consolidated and contained around the pattern the metallic container is called flex is called flex one plus design pit mold pit molding process full mold process evaporative pattern types of sand mold casting process bench molding for small work floor molding done on the foundry floor medium size casting pit molding for large size casting pit molding will be created in the floor it is called a drag top flask is placed over the pit the walls of the pit brick lined and plastered with loam sand bottom of the pit is rammed with a 50 to 80 mm layer of coke to improve permeability vent pipes are run from this layer to side of surface coke is covered with black blacking sand 
figure shows the sand molding casting sand mold casting sand mold casting in which the metal molten metal is poured metal is poured into the sand cast casting and product product is produced by the sand casting getting system molten metal is poured pouring basin is there shown pouring box spurer scope plasts core drag skim bob in gate riser mold cavity choke ra runner spur base of wheel these are the parts of the casting system pouring basin pouring basin a small funnel shaped cavity at the top of the mold into the which the molten metal is poured spur the passage through which the molten metal from the pouring basin reaches reaches the mold cavity in many cases it controls the flow of metal into the mold runner the channel through which the molten metal is carried from the spur to get to get to the gate gate a channel through which the molten metal enters the mold cavity riser a column of molten metal placed in the mold to feed the castings as it shrinks and solidifies also known, known as feed feed head splash core a ceramic splash core placed at the end of the spur spur also reduces the eroding force of the liquid metal stream choke the part having small cross sectional area to control the rate of metal flow to lower the flow velocity in the runner to hold back slag and foreign material figure shows figure shows the casting process bars and gaggers with with large scope flask added support is normally required to keep the mold keep the molding sand from falling out when the cope is raised to remove to remove the pattern this support is provided by this component skim bob to prevent heavier and lighter impurities skim bob is used skin bob does not allow the impurities to reach mold cavity caplets caplets are used to support the cores inside the mold cavity to take care of its own weight and overcome the metallostatic force vent small opening in the mold to facilitate escape of air and gases chills metal plates and with special heat removing devices which are used to remove the heat quickly at places where harder structure are required this is the introduction of casting